Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to take you with me on my big Costco haul. So I haven't been to Costco, Sam's Club, done a huge grocery shopping trip other than like the little weekly or bi-weekly, pick up the things you need. And I've been working a ton, super busy, and just having food on stock is going to make my life so much easier, and I know that. I just haven't had the time, so I've prioritized my entire Sunday around getting to Costco the moment the doors open at 9.30 a.m. to beat most of the Sunday rush, and really, really stock up. And so I figured that would be a great opportunity for me to take you with me on this adventure to Costco. Um, but also show you like what I'm getting, what I'm grabbing, my thought behind it, um, all of the things. I know that sometimes it's helpful to see these types of things, to see like what to grab um, or what's helpful um, to fill in those gaps in nutrition and like why I get things. Now, you don't have to eat everything I eat. I might like things that you don't like and vice versa, um, but I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna try some things, I'm gonna stock up, I'm gonna get a bunch of like easy stuff as well as like more stuff that needs prepped and cooked. All of the things stock up, I really truly don't wanna go grocery shopping other than like for fresh stuff for like a month. That is the goal here today, so I'm about to drop a pretty penny at Costco. Um, but I'm really excited to take you along for this ride today. So as always, if you enjoy my videos, you find this helpful, please hit subscribe. It helps me so much. And then you won't miss any of my awesome content to come like this video and leave me a comment if you end up trying or you want to try anything that I share in the video today. Um, I think I'm going to go get my stuff together and get ready because my goal is to head out the door. I'm going to go pick up some coffee to fuel this awesome Costco run I'm about to go on and then go ham in Costco today. Let's go. All right, my friends, so I planned that perfectly. It's uh, like 9.10 and Costco opens at 9.30 and I plan to stop by a Starbucks that's on the way to Costco. My Starbucks hack is I always get half as much sweetener. Starbucks drinks are so sweet and it's not that sugar's inherently bad for you, uh, but some guy just tried to walk into my car. Sir, your car looks very different than mine. I'm very confused. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was weird. Um, his car is my car's model, but like maybe five years earlier, so it looks very different. Anyway, so my hack with Starbucks is always ask for half as much sweetener. Um, there's a lot of sugar in those. I just feel like it's overly sweet. It's unnecessarily sweet. It hurts my belly. Um, if that's your thing, no problem for it. Um, but I also, for me, like if I'm going to get in my carbs and all of that stuff while I don't worry about sugar so much. I try to get that in from like food sources. Um, so while the occasional treat here and there doesn't bother me, having that much sugar in a drink actually really does upset my stomach. So if you're someone who does not like that overly sweetness, but you like that little hint and you like to case your coffee in your coffee, um, you can ask for half as much sweetener in it. And it actually ends up being much smoother to get down the hatch um, if you're a coffee person like me. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. I got a little breakfast sandwich there too. So I can get some actual fuel in me and we're gonna hit the Costco. Okay, I'm headed in and the Costcoers are out. There's, it opened up at 10, not 9.30. There's a line, it's 10 till. They are ready and I am not ready for them. All right, let's go. Okay, so the way I like to shop as someone who hates people and also gets really overwhelmed in stores when they're really crowded is that I like to just go aisle by aisle, kind of walk by, make sure I don't eat anything, look at everything. We just kind of had me go through this drill, so obviously I don't need a lot of this home good stuff, but I started walking through here just to like make sure, I was like, okay, is there anything that I need in here? Anything I need to grab? And so I'm gonna start first in the like refrigerated section and meats, start there, get my foundational basics, mostly my protein. My goal today is to get easy to grab protein options, um, as well as like a bunch of meat that I'm gonna freeze and or keep in my fridge. So I kind of stocked up on that getting it in bulk, all of those things. So something that I really like to pay attention to in places like this where like the really fun pre-made stuff is like really nice to buy is the nutrition label. And I say this in a way where I'm like not fear mongering macronutrients, but I really want like if something's gonna be a side dish, I want it to be like a protein source or a carb source or a fat source. And I feel like I joke all the time that fats find me. And it's not that I restrict fats in my diet, I get plenty, but I'd rather get them from like added things or the things that actually benefit me and not just like sneakily in my side dishes. Um, so it's something that I really do look at and check out. Cause if something is like a side that's gonna have 15 grams of fat or 20 grams of fat, that's really sneaky. And that's an easy way to, you know, fill up your macros or calories for the day. And, or, you know, for me, thinking about pre post-workout timing, keeping that fat reduced and keeping that in other sources that I'd rather have like some of my cuts of meat or adding avocado, things like that to my meals. It's a personal preference. You can buy those things if you want. 
but I do really like to look at that like protein ratio or carb ratio to the fat and when I'm getting because um, I find it's easier for me to fuel for a way that supports my training more appropriately while buying foods that support that. So when I'm grabbing going on the go, it's really easy for me to not have to worry about, you know, is this going to need longer to digest? All that stuff, like I can intentionally add my fats more across the day. Okay, so, so far I have stocked up on all the protein, uh, fresh vegetables, some fruit. I don't like to get a ton of that here because it goes bad super easily and I eat most of that stuff and Reed just doesn't. So I got eggs, which are only $2.70 a dozen, which is way better than it's been at Walmart and Target and Kroger. Um, and now I'm gonna move on to like frozen food, uh, frozen fish. That, I get a lot of frozen fish, honestly. That's what I eat mostly is a ton of shrimp and salmon. So I'm gonna stock up on that, get a few bags of that and load myself up. Um, I got some steak, chicken thighs, chicken sausages, all the things like keeping protein on stock is key because um, otherwise I won't eat it. All right, that was a massive success and I didn't spend as much money as I thought I was going to, but I finished up in the snack section. Most of that stuff though, I'll probably go to Target or Kroger to grab later today because I just don't need that much in bulk of those types of things. Um, don't eat it as fast or I'll change, you know, my snacks around or things like that more often. So I will head home now. I've got my cart all full and I will show you guys a haul of everything that I got. Okay, I am back home and I am out of breath um, because I just carried all of this by myself. Regis isn't home today. He's uh, out traveling for something and so I did all this on my own and I was like so determined to get all of this upstairs in one go and I'm not even going to make a joke. A joke. A joke about being fit because this is true strength in its moment. Like dragging this bag, falling of this box. Why is my Northern accent coming out? I guess I'm set, I'm that tired. Oh my God, I need a snack after that. Uh, if you're wondering the hardest part about being short, even though I'm strong, is that when I carry things, it just like smacks on my knees the entire time. Like I have no length for that to like hinge my hips. So I'm just like shuffling. So, okay, we're gonna unpack all this and walk through what I got share that with you all. I'm only thing that I don't have with me that I didn't bring up was LaCroix, like a big thing of LaCroix, but I'll get that later. There's no way I was carrying that up with the rest of this. So let's check it out. Okay. First thing first, I need to eat that Starbucks sandwich, that egg white turkey bacon sandwich, because I know someone's going to want to ask that I never ate. And now I feel like I'm going to pass out from the literal effort I exerted carrying those groceries upstairs, like literally instant my blood sugar dropped. So that's a sign that we need. So I'm gonna eat this, smash this, and then I'll show you the goods. All right, so first things first, before I go through all this, I wanna make sure that like, I'm sharing just what I got at Costco today, but this isn't an extensive list of like, everything that I eat or exactly what you have to eat or you have to buy the foods that Alyssa buys. So you will look and be in exactly like Alyssa, like take what I'm using today and apply it to your own food preferences, needs, like what you enjoy, your budget, all of that stuff. I definitely balled out today at the store um, because I knew that I was just in a position right now with work that I just, I don't have the time to go to the groceries frequently as I'm going. So I wanted to just stock up on a lot of these things. First things first, protein. Um, I do eat an animal-based diet. If you don't, then I'm sorry, a lot of my suggestions for protein are going to be animal-based. It's just an easy way to get a lot of protein in your diet. Um, and I think that, you know, we always want hacks for getting protein and I struggle with it too. And I do have my video on increasing protein intake, but it's just easier if you just eat protein sources to get in your protein. So first things first, um, second thing second, I think I'm on my second thing. I bought a lot of meat today. Um, so what I did is I bought myself a rotisserie chicken. I don't always get rotisserie chicken. Sometimes Rudy and, not, Rudy and I will get these like when we're traveling and on the go. But I knew that because I was buying so much food today and I have a pretty busy day ahead of me work-wise that like I'm just not gonna wanna prep. Like I think there's this, this this feeling of like, okay, you do the groceries versus like wanting to prep. And I will probably prep a few things for this week, but I know that like for lunch this afternoon, dinner this evening, maybe even lunch tomorrow, this will get me through that without me having to like also make a meal after I prep. You know what I mean? Like, I think we all have that feeling of like, oh, I just did all of this and now I want to order takeout, right? Now, so I'm trying to order less takeout. I'm doing a lot better at it. Um, so anyway, I got a rotisserie chicken just to get me through today and tomorrow to kind of just like, appease my protein needs without a lot more effort than I'm already exerting on all the shopping and prepping and all of that stuff. So 
Otherwise, what I bought for myself, so I eat a lot of like red meat and seafood. I don't really like a lot of white meat, um, but the one thing I do like is like uh, chicken thighs and then like eggs and things like that, chicken sausages. But for the most part, I'm more of like a seafood and red meat person, which kind of is expensive. So I try to, you know, mix that in with some other things. Um, I also try to wash my red meat intake simply because of uh, familial history of cholesterol, that mine will start to trend upwards if I like eat too much of it. So I like mix in some other things, especially fish. Um, so first thing I got is I eat a lot of salmon. I like to get the uh, stock eye salmon. It is a little bit more expensive, but it is a little bit less fat. And I also feel like it just like cooks better, it tastes better. Um, there's nothing again wrong with fat. I, I share that as a disclaimer in this video is like I eat plenty of fat but it just finds me and I need a little bit of a higher carbohydrate intake versus calorie intake for like the activity level that I do. So I get fats, plenty of other sources, but for me, just like cutting that back where I can so I'm in a better position at the end of the day, carbohydrate wise, just makes my life a little bit easier. So again, I got salmon, frozen salmon is the glue that holds my life together, truly. I eat so much frozen salmon, it's not even funny. Um, and then I got shrimp. I love shrimp. I eat a ton of shrimp. Shrimp is so easy. And shrimp is like 100% protein. Like there's no fat and carbs in this. It's like just a strict total protein source. So it's so easy to toss into meals and get in a good bit of protein because it's literally just like, this is only protein. Um, again, not that other macros are, are not good, but like this is, if you're looking for 100% of a protein source, baby, shrimp is your friend. And it's kind of gross, but you can microwave shrimp. You don't know. Okay. Next, I like I said, I don't love white meat, but chicken thighs are the exception to that rule, probably because they have a little bit more fat. So chicken thighs are way better than breast and tenderloin. I stand by that. And because breast and tenderloin, like if they're fresh and well-made, they're not too bad. But like when you preheat that with meal prep, it's just like not good. I don't care what any bodybuilder says in the world. It is just not good. So I got all of this. This is like $30 worth of chicken thighs but it's only $3.50 a pound, so I had to get it. And they're individually packaged too, so what I'll do is I'll cut these up um, and I'll keep like one in the fridge and then I'll put the rest in the freezer, which is super nice. And so that was like really not that expensive. I was really happy with that. It's the rest of my meat consumption is pretty bougie. Um, they, I'll usually either get steak or ground beef. The ground beef they had was 85%. Um, and I prefer 93%, so I didn't get it. So what I did instead is I got some steaks. Um, so what I'll do is I will probably, uh, again, leave like one or two of these in the fridge and then I'll freeze the rest of these. I'll wrap them up and freeze them so I have them um, in the future. Again, not too bad. I mean, red meat is so expensive right now, but um, it's really no worse. Actually, it's probably a dollar less than what it is at Kroger for me, so I felt like that was a good win. Um, then I got some chicken and apple flavored chicken sausages. I've been struggling with protein intakes and starting my new job, and so what I've been doing in the mornings is I've been eating a chicken sausage like on the go. I've been telling Bethany Taylor, if you know who she is from my videos or Instagram, I call it my pocket sausage because I just like have it wrapped in a paper towel and I'm eating a sausage on the way to work. But it's just it's on the go protein and that's where I'm at with my life. Or I cut it up and eat it like with oatmeal or cereal or waffles or whatever my carbohydrate is because it's an easy way for me to get like a little protein boost. It isn't just a protein shake in the morning. Um, I like this slow cooked beef as well. This is great for making little taco bowls so I don't spend all my money at Chipotle um, or little tacos on the go. It's really great, like mix it with like some chickpeas, white corn, guacamole, rice, um, maybe some tortilla chips, like onion, all of that good stuff, and just like toss it in a bowl and it's super great and it lasts pretty long or you can freeze it, which is really nice too. And then last but not least, I have my lovely eggs. Um, I eat a lot of eggs. I've been hard boiling eggs as well because that has helped me getting a little bit more protein in or if I'm really busy or I'm getting up like super early for work, I feel like it's easier for me to eat like two hard boiled eggs than it is for me to like cook eggs in the morning and like deal with all that mess. Like they're just hard boiled, I can just eat them. Um, it's just like less effort. So I've been hard boiling a lot of my eggs during the week. And so that's my protein. Um, Basically, the rest of my meals will include things like I drink a lot of protein shakes or I'll try to sneak in protein through like grain sources or other sources of food throughout the day. But I find if I have like a meat centric meal, uh, that makes getting protein in a lot easier. So uh, if that isn't how you prefer to eat, like there's other ways to approach that. But for me, I feel like that's the easiest way for me to meet my protein needs for the day. So that's where I'm at and that's why I got all the proteins.
Okay, so one thing that I didn't add when I was in Costco was you have to be really careful with a lot of the pre-made protein options that are in like the little fridge section. Now, if that's a convenience thing for you and you're willing to pay that price, then that's fine. But I'm pretty like frivolous when it comes to food and convenience, but some of those things are just really overpriced per pound and I just don't find it to be worth it. Like, so they, they have these like chicken skewer things that would be so easy on the go. And I know what, I've had them before because my brother buys them and I've eaten them at his house, but they were like $17.99 for 1.75 pounds. And that's just like, oh, like that's like almost $10 for a pound of chicken. It just isn't worth it for me when I know I can get like $3.56 chicken thighs, right? And like eat those on the go. And so obviously it's not the same and it's more prep and like less convenience. But for me, that is a significant like jump in price. So you just have to be careful with those things. And like sometimes Sam's Club is cheaper actually because they don't have as much organic stuff. And I don't really care about things being organic. I just like the variety that Costco offers over Sam's Club. But like that might, sometimes I know like Regis has a Sam's Club membership and we'll go there to get a lot of our meat simply because it is a little bit cheaper than Costco or you know, it's like Walmart version of things. So keeping that in mind, that's like a balling on a budget type uh, tip. Obviously I spend a lot of money on food. I'm okay with spending my money on food. I value that and I, I budget for that. But I'm also like, I draw lines on the things like I won't get the Kevin's pre-made chicken as much as I want to get it and things like that just because I know that for me, that's just almost too much money versus convenience, even though I'm the queen of convenience. So just a little extra tip there. So fresh fruit, food, veggies, things like that. I would love to buy more at Costco Sam's Club of like the fruits and the vegetables, but I just don't eat it at the rate of like the volume that they sell it in. So I'll get a lot of that at Kroger, but I will get some things when I go there and then I'll fill in the gaps during the weeks at like Kroger for the rest of the things that I get. So I always have salad mix. I try to eat a salad with dinner most nights. It's just like a really easy way for me to get in more vegetables and more fiber and like all of my nutrients um, on the side. And so I always, I'm a big, cucumber person. So I'll get like these little cucumbers or full cucumbers from the store, things like these bell peppers, other little toppings. And then I just chop it up and it's really easy. I just throw like balsamic on it. Super easy, super side dish, like something with crunch, maybe like those chickpea snacks or, you know, croutons, things like that. Just an easy way for me to just like chop and go. Sometimes people waste that stuff, but for me, like I've built the habit in where I actually look forward to it or I enjoy it. Um, and so I add things to it because I feel like, you know, it's a much more enjoyable experience to eat a salad that has tons of toppings. So um, otherwise I'm a big berry person. These are actually pretty cheap. I was really shocked. Sometimes I won't buy berries if they're a little bit more expensive and I'll get something else for a fruit for the week. But big berry person, those were actually like a great deal. They were like three bucks each, which is really not bad um, comparatively. And then I got some frozen green beans. I will go between getting like frozen green beans, frozen broccoli, um, other things like that. I also did get this little pre-made Brussels sprout thing. So those would be my veggies. So I have salad. I usually get like one frozen type thing at a time or two, um, keep those stocked up, but this looked really fun. Um, I do love Brussels sprouts. So um, I got those as well. And so that's kind of what I do for fresh food. And then I'll just like rotate that through, like whatever I'm feeling or to add some variety or like what makes sense of the meals that I'm eating. Um, but I usually always have some salad and berries on hand. And then I just like rotate through like frozen or side veggies. All right, and then like miscellaneous, sacks, sides, frozen goods, fill in the gaps. Um, again, I cannot reiterate enough, like this isn't the only thing I keep in my house and my pantry. This is just what I needed today to fill in the gaps. There's plenty of other things that I eat during my day. And so I usually always keep um, some sort of microwaved rice item. I get a lot of like, like batsami rice or jasmine rice. I really like that. So I have a few bags of those here. So I decided to get the quinoa brown rice mix to like have some variety in those. These saved my life. Microwave one of these, have some pre, you know, made protein, some frozen veggies, like just toss it in the microwave. And it is really like an easy on the go type way or, you know, convenience meals type stuff. So I like having these, I would literally bring a bag of rice to work. Um, I got some tortilla chips. Ever since I had to like drastically reduce the gluten in my life, tortilla chips have become like a staple in my diet. Um, I'll ma I make a lot of like Taco Bell type things or just like, Snacks on the go, I want something salty after a workout. Like I love having like a little chip around all the time. Um, I guess if I had a snack of choice that I would pick, that would be chips. Um, then these Heavenly Chunks. These are one, really good, but also I like them because they're like 100 calories per one. So if I need like a quick pre-workout snack or a little post-workout, like post-run on the go, these are great because they're tiny little chunks. 
And I know some people view that as like, oh my God, there's a hundred calories in that. And I'm like, okay, yes, there's a hundred calories in that. Awesome, like let, low effort. And um, they're also great for hiking. They have five grams of fat, but it's not too bad. So they're great for like a little calorie dense type snack. And you go, and they just taste really good. Um, we got some pasta sauce. You know, I don't know. I've never had this brand before, but I figured I'd try it. It's just a little staple basic. I keep a lot of bonza pasta here as well. I found this chai concentrate. Um, I really like chai lattes, but they're really expensive and all they do when you pay for a chai latte is just take concentrate and mix it with milk. And so it always feels dumb when I'm getting that instead of regular latte. I promise I'm not that big of a penny pincher, but I'm giving you guys lots of money saving tips today too. Otherwise, these Supreme Cauliflower Crust Pizzas, like the, the, the Kirkland brand, of all of the non-gluten based pizza crust pizzas I have tried, these are the best. I really truly mean that. There's some pretty good ones out there and I'm finding some better ones. I always keep like probably two frozen pizzas on me at any point in time, no matter what. I like always have frozen pizza because that's always a default fallback. Like this with like maybe put some chicken on top and then a side salad or something like that for dinner is just like such an easy fallback go-to. I got these veggies made great little muffin things. I bought these at Target a few times and they're great for on the mornings that I'm like really busy, I'm rushing out the door, I'm like, eating, cooking breakfast while I'm showering between the gym and work type thing. Uh, they're great, I'll microwave them and toss them in my pocket, maybe eat them on the go or bring them into work and reheat them there, things like that. Um, they also have this brand, and I've bought this at Costco before, but not today, because I still have them. And they have these spinach egg white fritas that are also really good, but I didn't need those because I already have those at home. So these are really great, really convenient. Um, Technically, they're keto friendly, but I don't care about that. And then I always like to keep some easy meals on the go. I order from a meal prep company locally sometimes, and some weeks I don't really like their meals, but I've found that these are really great to keep around. There's kind of like rice, chicken, and veggies, like, I guess, like those like cuisine type meals. But these are really great. So like if I'm in a pinch, they're only like 380 calories. So sometimes they're great if I'm like coming home from work and I need a little bit more than a snack before I work out or go for a run, but I don't need something super heavy. Kind of that like in between a snack and a meal type thing for me just to like fill me in. And they're really great, convenient, and they taste good. So those have been really helpful for me. I bought those a few times now. And then last but not least today I bought Applesauce packets, because I'm an adult who lives on squeeze applesauce packets. So really, I take these on runs, um, pre-workout in the morning if I don't have time to eat before I work out, um, a quick extra carb boost before I start a run type thing. Those I always keep around or keep in my car. So that is it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching my Costco haul, and I hope you found this helpful on the little tips and tricks and ways I approach and think about these things. So what I'll do is for this week, um, I'll probably hard boil like a dozen eggs and separate those out. Um, because I usually eat like two full eggs and egg white at a time. Like that's just like, I don't know, that's even how I cook my eggs in the morning. I'll air fry a bunch of meat, a mix of chicken and steak probably. I usually cook my seafood in the moment. I, I don't know why. Sometimes I air I, I meal prep some shrimp or some salmon. Um, but otherwise I'll meal prep like a few lunches worth of food. I usually cook my dinner night by night. I like having my dinner fresh if I can. Um, but otherwise my lunch is what I really have the hardest time eating. Um, so I'll meal prep things for that, throw that together, have that ready for the week with work. And then my breakfast stuff is really on the go type options that I do. And that's kind of how I prepare for the week. And that's what's always worked for me. So, you know, for dinner, I don't like to meal prep my dinners. I like to like, kind of eat night by night, see what I'm in the mood for. Um, and I'll toss a lot of things in the fr air fryer. So that's like where I'll toss like a piece of salmon and some frozen veggies, maybe some like frozen of those like Alexia sweet potato fries, something like that in there, or mix it with some rice and some sauce whatever it is, just, you know, night by night, make sure that I'm enjoying the meals that I'm eating. Breakfast is usually like the same thing on the go. And then lunch is where I like really have to focus on prepping. And that's more so making sure I have a protein thing available. Cause you always bring a bag of rice with me to work. Or, you know, if you don't know this, you can take frozen veggies and just toss them into a Tupperware container and then microwave them at work. Like you don't have to meal prep the frozen veggies. You can just toss them in your meal prep. You can even do that with raw veggies if you microwave them long enough. Learned that recently. So those are just some like my tips of how I apply all the things I did today. I build my meals around the basic of like a protein focus and then having a carb and like um, fats are usually mixed in with that or I add things like guacamole or avocado, dressings, um, butter, whatever that is to my meal based off needs and preferences. And yeah, I eat really, really simple, um, pretty basic. Again, you don't have to eat like me but these are just like the ways that I approach grocery shopping and stuff. So I'll run to Kroger later today and I'll get things like cereal, oatmeal, peanut butter, 
Uh, I drink a lot of juice, like orange juice. Um, like I keep that around because I really like that. I should get like the half sugar orange juice, but I really like juice. Um, I'll buy soy milk since I don't do dairy. Uh, really just those types of things. <clears throat> really making sure that I'm filling in the gaps with that other stuff, you know, condiments, all of those things. But really that's the way I eat. It's very, very simple. I call it lazy list nutrition and I have a free ebook linked below. Um, but I really just try to make sure that I'm meeting my bases. I'm fueling appropriately. I have a protein forward diet because I really do struggle with the eating protein intake, which I know many of you also struggle with as well. So really prioritizing that in my meals, um, making sure I'm getting in carbs that meet my energy needs and my activity levels, and then kind of letting fats, you know, find their ways. And they find me guys they find me fats find me um if you're someone with a preference towards fats then you totally get that um but i don't have to worry about it i always get enough whether i try or not so uh for me that's just the way i approach my eating and my cooking so anyway if you liked this video you found it helpful you enjoyed a little bit more of the behind the scenes day in the life type stuff um hopefully you found some benefit to this and it helps you even with your nutritional needs um please let me know if you enjoy this below please like subscribe comment all of the things it helps me keep on making content that helps you um, and you find beneficial and if you have a favorite costco item that i miss let me know below i'll catch you on the next one